Hey guys, and welcome to my first ever crochet along. Today I'm going to be using these two colours, a uh, neon yellow and a turquoise blue. Tur yeah, kind of like a turquoise blue, turquoise green. Yeah, it looks a little different on camera. Uh, so, uh, this one is, uh, is 100 grams, it's a uh, double knit, it's 100% acrylic, 300 metres. Uh, you can wash it and not tumble dry it. So, and this one is, even though it's a different brand, it's, it feels the exact same, and it's the same weight. So, you can use whatever colours you like for this. Uh, I'm just going to go for something really bright. Uh, but again, you can use whatever you like. So, uh, that being said, I'll pop these aside. I'm going to use a 4mm crochet hook. I've got some snips and a sewing needle. Uh, thick enough uh, to sew my ends in. So... Let's uh, dive straight in and see where we end up. So again, this is week one. Right, so with our four millimeter crochet hook and our first color, I'm gonna use this kind of turquoisey blue. And I'm just gonna put on a slip knot onto my hook. We're gonna start off uh, with a stripy solid granny square for this project, I think. So, one, two, three, and four chains. And then what we're going to do is we're going to slip stitch back into our first chain stitch. And make a chain, um, a, f a chain four loop. So as you can see, that's our little loop. So we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Now this is round one what we're on now. Because I, I, don't, I don't count the uh, chain four loop as a round. So we're going to put in two double crochets into the centre of this uh, little circle. chain two, and then another three double crochets, all in, all in, all into this middle uh, circle. So one, two, and three. Right, so we've got two sides and a corner so far. The chain two makes the corner. So to make another corner, chain two, and then into the middle of this ring, or circle, we're going to do another three double crochets. So, one, two, and three. And then we've got, now we've got three sides, two corners. So we've got another side and another two corners to do. So let's do this corner, chain two, and then back into the middle of this circle, another three double crochets. So that's one. Two, and that's number three. So we need one last corner, so chain two, one and two. And then we're just going to slip stitch into the top of this chain three, what, uh, what's on this side. So one, two, and find your third, which is there. And we're going to just go straight onto round two with the same colour. Right, so one, two, and three. And then what we need to do is pop in a double crochet in the next stitch. One in the next stitch. And one in, two in your space. And the chain two gap on the end, as you can see. Chain two, and another two double crochets into that chain two corner. So there's one, and there's two. Right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to work across, across this side. So I'm just going to pull my stitches a little bit, and so you can see this first double crochet right there. So we're just going to double crochet along this side, so that's one. Two, three, and then two in the end there. One and two. So on each side, you should have seven. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven underneath my thumb there. Right, so chain two, 
because we're now in a corner space, and do another two double crochets right into that chain two corner. So one and two. Don't forget to pull your stitches a little bit if you can't get into if you can't see this uh, first double crochet there, and we're just going to carry on with double crochets. One into each stitch until you hit your other corner. So there's two into my corner. Chain two and two more into that space. Right, now we're on the last side. Oh, that's my dog barking in the background, talking to his neighbours. Right, so we're going to go into this uh, first stitch on that side and just carry on doing our double crochets So until we have a total of seven. Right, in my corner again. So don't forget that's two double crochets. Chain two and two double crochets. Right, if you remember that chain three we did at the beginning, that makes up our stitch, so we don't have to do any more, but you can do a little count, so one, two, three, which is our three chains. Four, five, six, and then seven. So that completes the round. So I'm just going to slip stitch into the top of this chain three. And I'm just going to pull a little bit of excess out because we are going to change colour. So what I recommend is to uh, weave in your ends as you go on this uh, project because we're going to end up with a few which I do apologise for, but it's going to look so pretty. So, join me back for round three. Right, now I've, we're on to round three. I've woven my ends in, and I've also moved on to my next colour. Right, so I'm going to join this in a corner. So, you want to put your hook in, pull up a loop, and I normally keep this quite tight, uh, just so, so it doesn't end up doing anything you don't want it to and we're going to chain three so I'm, pi I'm pinching this as I go so one two and three and then I'm going to move that to the side and put in another double crochet Now I am going to, uh, with these ends you can weave, uh, you can uh, go over these as you go. Chain two, because we're just going to make the corner here, and another two double crochets. So one, and two double crochets completes your corner. Right, so, again, it, it's the same principle as the last round. Don't forget this first uh, double crochet right here. And we're going to pop in one double crochet in each stitch across. Then two in the corner, there's one, and there's the second, chain two, just need to get some more yarn out for myself, and then another two crochets right into that chain two corner, so there's one, and two. Now at this point you can cut off that tail, but I'm just going to carry on working over it. Don't forget this first stitch just after your corner, unless you end up uh, with a uh, wonky square. And then just continue working double crochets for the round. So I'll just do these rounds on camera for now.
Oh, I'm going to just uh, snip uh, that excess bit off there. Because that, there's no way on earth that is going to come out uh, on its own accord. Right, so I'm just going to carry on. So chain two, because I'm in my corner. And then another two double crochets. So that's one and two. Oops. Again, don't forget this uh, first one in your row. And then I'm just going to place in one double all the way across. So I'm just going to do a little stitch count so I know how many I need. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So each side should have, at this point, eleven double crochets. So that's one, two, three, four. That was a bit of a funny stitch because that's where our chain three was. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then I need two more in my corner, which makes eleven for that side. Brilliant. Chain two, and then another two. Doubles makes me corner. Right, not forgetting this uh, very first stitch. Still working in double crochets, so one in each stitch across until you get to the other side. It's always good to, yeah, just stop and make sure you have the right amount of stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then two in that corner makes it 11. So what I'm going to do is, again, just a slip stitch into the top of this chain three right here. And join me on for the next round. Right, so we're just going to hop straight onto round four. So round four is the same as round three in uh, the, the way we do, but it's just going to have more stitches as we go along because we're still increasing our square. So since I've just come up from that chain three right there, I'm, I need another one, another double crochet, my next stitch. And that brings me to my corner. So you all know a corner by now is two double crochets, chain two and two double crochets. So there's one and two. Chain two, and then another two double crochets. And that makes our corner. Right, so now, again, don't ever forget this uh, first stitch, because when you're doing these corner stitches, since you've got four stitches going into corner, it can, you know, it's, you can uh, end up missing that sometimes. So just be always be aware of that, and you can't go wrong. So we're just going to do one stitch in each stitch across. So basically what we're doing in this video is we are making the very centre design for our uh, blanket. So um, if any of you have followed any of my recent videos it's another take on my squares and ripples uh, design uh, which I put out a couple of days ago. Uh, this one with this one does end up being a bit different, so uh, it's kind of kind of a follow up from that design and taking it a little step further as well. Plus, since you don't know where we end up, it's also uh, fun <laughs> fun to do. And the good thing about me uh, doing. Uh, doing this uh, particular one in uh, quite a few different videos is you get to see, um, you know, a, a little bit more and it it just makes it a bit more clear on uh, the end result as well. Bit more of a bit more of a row by row. Right, so don't forget that first stitch in your corner and just carry on going. 
So I am going to speed up a little bit. You know, you can skip past this bit if you're uh, confident on what you're doing. And in fact, after this corner, I'll probably do the rest off camera just to uh, cut down the time just a little bit. Just I'm lo loving these uh, two, uh, two colours together. It's so bright. It's lovely. You could even uh, do this in like a pastel rainbow colours. That'd look really nice. Just at my corner, just uh, done my corner and I'm just moving on down my next side. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do these off camera and then uh, I will be coming back. So at the, I'll, I'll join you back at the end of the round. Right, so I'm nearly at the end of my round, so I just need to do a, a couple more stitches. As you can see. And then again, always slip stitch into the top of that uh, top of that chain three beginning there. Right, so I'm going to change colours again. So you can see you can see how much uh, how much I'm leaving. You know, it's not a vast amount. Uh, you know, with it at the moment, we can just work straight over these tails. As you can see, they don't really pop out anywhere, so that's even better because it just cuts down uh, the amount of ends what you have to weave. So join me back on for round should be round five. So one, two, three, four. Join me back on for round five where we will be using this blue colour again. Right, round five. So I'm just going to start uh, just a little bit before here, I think. Now I'm going to start in a corner again. Let's let's keep it all the same. So I'm just picking any corner. I don't always want to be starting in the same corner because you can sometimes see where you keep starting. So to keep it a little different, just pick a corner and go with it. So again, I'm just going to pull up a loop. I'm going to leave a, a long, nice tail, and then I'm going to chain three. One, two, and three. And we're going to do the entire corner now, so it is a double crochet, chain two, and then two double crochet. So there's my first one, my chain two, and then I need two doubles all in that chain two corner space. I'm just going to work over this uh, blue tail there. And don't forget to go straight into that first stitch with a double crochet. And then I'm going to do one double crochet in each stitch. And it's pretty much going to be the same for the round. So I'll probably, yeah, I'll just, I'll stay with you until uh, I get to uh, just after me next corner. Why not? Oops, make sure you go through your stitch and not underneath it. Right, since I'm coming up to a part where I have another tail, I'm just going to cut this blue one off. Because that, that's under there enough. So don't, make, <laughs> don't cut this one off, uh, whatever you do. And just carry on stitching as normal. It always look a bit funny you can uh, this uh, where you did your slip stitch but just bear with that it will be fine I'll just come up to this corner. One and two. So that's 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. You should have 19 stitches in each side. That's not included in these ones here because that uh, belongs to this side. So you should have 19 stitches in each side by this point. And we're just going to chain two and do another two double crochets in that chain two corner space. So that's one and two and then we're just going to carry on going so we're not doing anything different for this round so I am I will come back uh, just a couple of stitches before the end right so just coming up to the end of uh, the round now which is round one two three four at uh, the end of round five Should be uh, round five. Let me just double check. One, two, three, four, and five. Yes, it is. Having a thing with counting today. <laughs> so I've got one more stitch to place there in my last double crochet. And again, we're just going to slip stitch to the top of that chain three. So one, two, and three for our slip stitch. Come on. Sometimes it can be a little, little tricky, but uh, just bear with it. Right, so that is the end of round five, so follow me back on for round six. Right, round six is going to be the exact same as round five, <laughs> funnily enough. <laughs> Apart from, we just have more stitches down the side. So, chain three, so one, two and three, and go into this uh, next double crochet which is here. And then that brings us back to a corner. So again, two double crochets, chain two, two double crochet. Chain two. And two double crochets. What I will do at the end of this row, I will give you a stitch count for how many what you need on each side. So that's one, two, and don't forget this uh, first double crochet right there. So I'm just going to uh, speedy on along. Quite into making uh, blankets and double knitting at the moment. Don't know why. I just I just prefer a bit of a lighter blanket for myself rather than uh, something what's uh, really big and heavy. But each to their own. Just be aware that if you're using chunky yarn for this uh, project, it it's going to end up big. So, like always, I'm just doing stitch for stitch here with double crochets. So even though I'm not uh, crocheting completely flat, yes, you don't always have to see exactly what I'm doing to know what you're doing, if that makes sense. So I'm just at my corner again. So what I'll do is I'm just going to do half of my corner, and then I'll just uh, do a quick uh, count on this side, just so you, you and I know that you have enough stitches so including the corner not this side so just across here we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three should have twenty three stitches there so i'm going to finish this corner with a chain two and another two double crochets just like that and then I'm going to leave you to finish the round and I will come back just a couple of stitches towards the end. Right, so I'm just coming up on the end of round six and I have a few more stitches left there. So one and two. And again, slip stitch in the top of your chain three to finish the round. And jump. Again, we're going to change what we're doing.
Right, so that concludes round six. As you can see, it's looking uh, like a nice little uh, square with two colours. So, join me back on for the next part of this video, which is going to be round seven. Right, so now we're on round seven. So what we're going to do is we're just going to ignore this square for, for a little while. So what I want you to do is I want you to make uh, four squares with four rounds. So that's one, two, three and four. So as big as this yellow section. So what we're going to have to do is we are going to start with our second colour for the middle of our square. So what what's blue here will now be yellow and what is yellow will now be blue. So... Rewind back to the beginning of the video where we start off making the square and just do it. Just start in reverse uh, until you have four of those and then I will be back to show you what we are doing next. Right, welcome back guys. Technically, I'm going to call this round seven, even though we've been doing squares uh, because it's all based around the centre. So I'm calling this round seven. Right, so I have three where I haven't worked in my tails. And I have one where I have. So, if you accidentally weaved in uh, one of your tails and one of your squares, this is where to use it, because I don't, uh, because I've still got a tail here. So what we're going to do is we are going to sew one square to each corner. So I'm just getting my. Uh, should have done this off camera, but I'm just. I just want to get over to that corner, and then go up another one of these uh, stitches. Just so you just so you can't see it on the back. Right, so I don't want to be in that way. So make sure your square's facing the right way. So you can tell this is the back of it and that's the front. So it doesn't really matter what corner you pick, so just pick any corner. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just go straight through this chain two space in the square, as you can see. And kind of pull it just so it's touching. You don't want to pull it tight because it kind of uh, scrunches it up too much. And I'm just going to go back through there, that uh, chain two space. Once. And twice. Pulling a little tighter each time. And then I'm going to go in, be in between. I'm left handed, try to do this right hand nightmare. I'm just going to try and go in between these two loops here. Pull through. And I'm just going to sew this in the best I can. Uh, normally I would have left a, a little bit longer tail for that, but it'll be fine. And I'm just going to snip off this end. Right, so we're going to do that another four times. So I'll just do another one to, to show you again. So I'm just going to go into my next stitch. And I'm going to flip my little square over because now I want to kind of work around, kind of work around into the corner. This way, you don't have to be using separate uh, strands of yarn because since it's on the back, you really just it disappears and you can't see it. And then I'm just going to come come back up from the outside, or from the underside, and voila, I'm in the middle. So, with my square facing uh, the right way, I'm just going to go underneath into through that chain two space. Not actually through a stitch, but it's just through the space itself. And I'm going to do this a couple of times to draw this, these two squares together. And then I'm going to go through my stitches I've just put in. And then I'm just going to kind of go through two and then just let go because the next round the, the, all these uh, tails we can weave all these in as we go which is a nice and easier part about this pattern right so I'm going to sew these other two up here and here and then uh, follow me back on round eight right guys welcome to round eight what we're going to do is I'm moving back onto my second colour yarn which is uh, that lovely neon yellow and as you can see it's looking a bit discombobulated at the moment but that will sort itself out so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start in this corner of one of my little squares and I'm going to work this corner like any other solid granny square corner with a chain three 
a double crochet, a chain two, and two double crochet. So that's one, and that's two. Scoop those stitches over so you can see that first stitch in your corner and head down the row. You can probably hear the wind, wind in the background. It's been uh, blowing a gale all day again. trying to work over as many yarn tails uh, as I can in this pattern. Less to sew later, the better. Right, so just coming up to the end of this row, what you want to do is you want to stop when you only have two stitches left before you hit the, the end of the, where your corner is. But I'll show you that in a second, bear with me. So the, uh, this is the corner of my uh, little square, what I'm uh, working on. And as you can see, there's one stitch and two stitch. And this is where I've just finished working into. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it slightly because we're going to start working across this big square. And the idea is miss, uh, we're going to miss the first two stitches. So as you can see, my first two stitches are there. And we're aiming for the third. So that gap right there. So what you want to do is yarn over and keep your keep your tension on your yarn and just go through that stitch, pull through. And what I always like to do is give it a little bit of a tug to really draw these stitches uh, closely together. Give it a good pinch and finish your stitch with a double crochet. And then you can do your second one a little bit tighter than normal as well because that'll just reinforce it. So we've missed the first two and gone into the third, and we're just going to carry on carry on across this row. So I'm just going to uh, go a little bit quicker than uh, I should be doing on the video, but yeah, it's sti stitch for stitch. I'm not doing any in silly increasing or anything what we haven't been doing already. Probably going to stop doing stitch counts and stuff like that now because uh, it's just oh, it's too much to count. And if I get it wrong, then you get it wrong, and uh, with the stitch counts and stuff like that. So uh, that's why I never do it. So what I'll do is I'll stop just before I get to my corner. And then just show you that uh, jump one more time. Right, so I've only got two stitches left there, as you can see, because we have that one. Yarn over, keep, keep it nice and tight, and go into your third stitch on this little square now. So if it's one, two, and into that third one. Give it a, give it a bit of a tug and a pinch and finish that stitch. And do the, do the same with the next stitch also. Because um, we don't want any uh, gaps in between here. And then just carry on working. So, what you're going to do is um, going to do the same for the inside corners and the outside corners. Uh, just like, with, uh, like I've just shown you. And I will see you at, on the beginning of row 9. Right, so on to round nine. So what we're going to do is, it, it, it basically works the same as uh, round eight, in the way that we're just going to go all the way around it again. So I'll just uh, slip stitch uh, uh, my round together. So I'm going to chain three. Then don't forget in this uh, next stitch, you want to put a stitch. That's the stitch just before you get to your corner, if in case uh, you can't really see what I'm doing here. And then I'm at my corner again, so I'm just going to do two double crochets. 
followed by a chain two, one and two, and then two double crochets. So it's the same corners again as what we've been doing. And don't forget that uh, your first one here. And then I'm going to work back down uh, this side until we get uh, until there's two two stitches left. Every time it's until there's two stitches. I've got one more. Shibam. Right. So that's just taken me uh, to there. And now time to jump over that corner again. So again, miss out your first two stitches here. Or miss out these two uh, first stitches and then work into your third. So keep it nice and tight again. So one, two and into my third. Just give it, just give it a little pull and then you can just start working on the edge of this uh, bigger square now. And what I'll do is I'll just work across this side and just do another corner with you, why not? So I'm just doing, again, just doing stitch for stitch. Not really, uh, not really doing anything uh, exciting. Even though I do uh, work fairly fast. Right. So again, it's starting to get a bit more, a uh, bit more cohesion to it, and a bit more shape, so it's not flopping around as much. So again, keep, keep this uh, nice and tight for a stitch. So I have two here, and I, I'm going to go to my third one on this side. So one, two, and into the third with a double crochet. Remember, keep it nice and tight, and away you go. There's one stitch in each all the way around. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue this round uh, off camera where I will be back for round 10. Right, so that was the uh, that was round 9 we've just completed, so this is going to be round 10. So, like um, before earlier, we're going to make some more little squares for our corners, and this is how it's uh, all progressing. So, this is going to look super, super cool. Uh, so, we need to do, we're going to use our, fir our first colour, just going to move this out of the way, and we want four squares with only two rounds. So what I'll do is I'll just, I'll just make one on camera, why not? It's only, it's only two rounds. So, the, uh, round one of uh, this little square is going to be like any other square of what you've been making. One two, three, four chains, slip stitch to make a loop. Never get these uh, right first time. Then chain three, two and three. And then three double, uh, two double crochets inside that loop. So that's one and two. Chain two. Three double crochets inside that loop now. So one, two, and three. Chain two, and another three double crochets inside that loop. So that's one, two, and three. 
chain two, and another three double crochets. So that's one. Two, three, chain two. So that makes our last corner, and a slip stitch into the top of the chain three right here. Oops. And I'm just going to do another slip stitch. Why not? So going to pull a bit of yarn through. Don't have to be that much. Oh, all fingers and thumbs today. Just going to draw this uh, in a little bit in the centre. Right now, I'm going to get my other colour for the next round, and I'm just going to attach it onto a corner, uh, a little on the opposite side of uh, my square. Right, so chain three, one, two, and three. Keep hold of this uh, tail so, so you can work underneath it. Do another double crochet. Chain two. And another two double crochets in the corner. So one. Two. And then we're just going to work this uh, round like we have been doing. So don't forget that first a little cheeky stitch there and just keep going until you get to your other corner back in the corner now so that's uh, two double crochets chain two two double crochet Not forgetting this uh, first stitch. I'm going to cut away that yellow uh, tail now because it's uh, worked in enough underneath my stitches there and I'm just coming up to another tail which we're also going to work over. trying to make uh, this uh, pattern as easy on uh, those weaving in ends as possible even though there will still be uh, a few so that's my third corner I've just done So yeah, not really doing uh, not doing anything different. I just felt like doing this little guy on camera. Why not? Just so it's hundred percent clear on how many rows and what colours we're doing and in what sequence. Coming on to on my last couple of stitches. I'm going to cut away that blue tail now. And slip stitch to join. And what, what I am going to actually show you for this one is do another slip stitch and then slip stitch into the corner and leave enough to do a little sewing because these are going to get sewn onto each corner of our uh, motif so far. So just need to make another three of these, bring that a bit closer so you can see a bit better. So make another three and then I will join you back for round 11. Right, so round 11. So round 11 is just going to be basically sewing these uh, little squares on. So you sew them on like we sewed the other ones on. Nice and simple, just make sure 
we're in that middle uh, chain 2 gap in your square. Go through both on your big, bigger square and your little one. And I'm just going to go through there again and then go back through my middle stitches, just the middle couple of loops what we've just made. Whip stitch two stitches and then we can work all these ends in. Right, so you're just going to put these on the other corners uh, like we have been doing and then I will join you back for round 12. Right, welcome to round 12. I'm going to be using my other colour now, my blue colour. And what we're going to do is basically the same as the previous yellow round what we've done is I'm just going to attach this, I'm getting a bit of a tangle here, up in this corner. Chain three, one, two, three, and I'm going to hold this tail behind. A double crochet in that chain two space, chain two, and another two double crochets in that chain two space finishes our corner. So I'm just going to carry on, so make sure you get that first stitch in there. Making sure you're working over that tail as you go until you only have two stitches left, like always. So, yep, there's one and there's two. I'm going to get rid of that little tail, little, little tail there because I can't be bothered with it. <laughs> oh, great, and I've got another one there to work over. So, again, keep, keep this stitch nice and tight and work into the third stitch on here. So one, two, and there's my third. I always like to double check that. Give it a good tug. Keep keep your stitch pinched closed and carry on working. So this uh, round is going to be the you know the same thing all the way. So I don't have to do any more. Uh, when you get to the end, remember to slip stitch to join. Where I will see you for round thirteen. Right, so welcome to round 13. So it's starting to build up a little bit more now. So what we're going to do for this round is uh, exactly what we've been doing. So I'll just do the first little bit and get you to continue until the end. Right, so just doing a bit of a tangle with my arm here. Right, so just going to chain three. One, two and three. A bit of a squeaky hook today, bear with. Normally it just means it uh, just needs a bit of a clean. And don't forget that next stitch. Still working in double crochet. And then corners like normal. So that's two doubles. Chain two and two doubles. One and two. Right, so going to continue on this row, don't forget that first stitch like always. And then just continue working towards that corner, making sure you're missing off the last two stitches. So I've got three there. And then don't forget to jump over. So that's into the third stitch on the next square across, keeping your stitches nice and tight. Now, so if, if they're not tight enough, again, you just undo it and do it again. You know, it's, it's always better to get it, get it right than uh, realise uh, you could have done that stitch a little tighter a few rows on and have to undo it all because you can't fix it once you passed it. So, we're just going to continue on. Uh, for round 13 and I will join a uh, slip stitch uh, to finish like always and I will join you back for round 14 right then so now it's round 14 so we're changing colour now onto our second colour and I'm just going to uh, 
I'm just going to start in a corner. I'll weave that, probably weave this in a bit later on. So, for this round we're just going to work the exact same as what we've been doing. So to do your corner, it's a chain three plus one double crochet, chain two, then two double crochet. And then we're just going to carry on working like normal, one uh, stitch for stitch, don't forget that first one like always. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to carry on a bit and then I'm going to join you when we come down to this little short area here. So bear with me and I will be back in a moment. Right, so I'm just coming up on that uh, little uh, short area in the middle. So I've just got a couple more stitches to do. There we are, so we've got two there. And I'm just going to have to turn it a little bit because uh, to make it a bit of an easier angle for me to work on. Right, so again, we're just going to jump straight over onto that side. So by this point, you should just have uh, three stitches in the middle there. If you've been following uh, me uh, correctly, now I'm just uh, scooting on round again and we're just going to jump back up onto this square. So one, two, and that is our third stitch. And we're just going to carry on, carry on going uh, until you hit the end of a round and then uh, slip stitch to join and then I will join you for round 14. 15, 14. Fifteen. Right, so round fifteen and it's starting to fill up nicely. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start this row like normal. And then when we get to this part uh, where we've only got three stitches, you should have three stitches in each of these bits round around if your stitch count's been uh, all right. So what we're going to do is we're going to stitch like normal until we get to here and we're just going to jump straight over. So what I'll do is I'll do this on, I'll do this on camera, why not? So chain three, starting, starting the round like we would with any round. And that's me back in my corner. And that's me completed my corner. It's getting uh, a bit big to be uh, moving around everywhere. God knows what it's going to be like uh, later on when we get onto uh, the different sections. But hey, it's going to be uh, it's going to be fabulous. So I'm just going down here like normal, just doing stitch per stitch. So no need for uh, any drastic stitch counts. When we do finish. Uh, this video, uh, there will be a stitch count for the uh, border, just so you know you're on the right track. And if you're out by one or two, I'll also be teaching you how you can solve that without having to uh, rip any of your stitches out, which is all, always a bonus, but only if you're out by like uh, one or two stitches. Don't, don't, won't really uh, be that effective uh, if you're out by a lot. But if you've been following me um, with this video, Closely, uh, you should be pretty much on target. So let's just uh, power on over this to this side. And I'll explain what we're doing about the uh, open gappy areas, which you'll uh, see in a second. So if that's going to be included in this round, just so I don't have to do another video. Right, I'm nearly there.
Right, so on just a couple of stitches before uh, my first gap here. So as you can see, it's uh, you know it's the inside gap. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do one in the next. To bring this down a bit more, so I'm a bit more in the centre. One in the next. Now I am where a corner would be. So since the corner is made up of two chain stitches, I just want to put in one double crochet uh, straight through the corner. So I'm not going into any uh, any of the chain stitches. I'm just going through like normal. So that's one. And then uh, make the stitches quite tight. I'm just going to go into the opposite side into that corner now with one. So I'm just going to put it a little bit tighter. There we go. And then just carry on the rest of the row like normal. It will look, it will look a bit a bit odd uh, until we get the next round on. So don't don't worry about it. It's fine. Right. So that's how we're going to work this round. And after you've done the round, what, we, what we're going to do is uh, cut, your color, uh, cut the collar off, uh, weave in that end, and then you're going to come back and we're just going to sew, uh, sew these uh, together on the reverse side. So what I'll do is, uh, I'm, I will come back and show you one, uh, for those who just, yeah, who, who like to see what I'm doing and see everything. Yeah, that's going to be uh, fine, is that? Yeah, so continue around like that and then I will uh, join you back. Right, so we're just going to finish uh, finish that round. So uh, I'm going to have to move my back around a bit. So we've just done the round where we've uh, bridged these gaps and now we've got these four great big holes. So, yeah, so what I'm going to do now is... Uh, turn your entire project uh, so the back is facing you, so it's wrong side up. And we're going to get some of the same colour. Don't need too much, just uh, just enough to sew with. And thread a needle. Now we're going to have to do this four times, and I like to keep it keep it the same for each for each bit. Right. So what you're going to do is you're going to locate where your corners were on here, and what we're going to do is we are just going to go underneath and through the other side. Do it a couple of times until it starts drawing tight. I'm just going to do this. Uh... Two or three times. Just so this, uh, this doesn't start coming loose. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go stitch for stitch. And we're going to whip stitch down this join. So what you can do is you can uh, bring uh, this little yarn tail down and sew over that if you wish or you can, I'm just going to weave this in when I'm done because it just gets in your way. So I'm just going to move down to the next stitch and go across. I'm going through both loops on each side. So nothing, nothing too difficult. You know, try, try and keep it as flat, flat as you can because it's just easier to realise what stitches you're actually needing to go through. Not pulling anything too tight neither, uh, because I don't want uh, it to start warping or bunching up. So I'm kind of keeping my thumb on the last stitch I've just done. With this stitching being the exact same colour, you're not going to see it neither. Right, so I'm just come down to the bottom here. See how nice that looks. Uh, you can't even see it, and this is beside what we've what we're stitching. So how I normally tackle this corner, I normally go through my last stitch, and then I tend to go through this middle stitch and back round and back through that middle one. And then just say it's a case of weaving in your end now. 
So I'm just going to go back up the centre, just kind of like weaving in and out a little bit. See, I'm not I'm not pulling anything tight, and then I'm just going to weave once more back down, and that should be enough to secure it. And just up one for good luck. Right, so you can do that another three times. Make sure all your ends are weaved in as we go. I don't want no messy projects out there. So, uh, yeah, so I will join you back for the next round. Right, welcome to round 16. And um, we are getting there. So as you can see, we have all, this is our centre square and it's got this really nice uh, kind of eyelets in it, which I absolutely love in this uh, kind of stitch pattern. It just gives a little interest and you know, it's, it just looks nice. Um, so these are our joins. We now have this like really nice, uh, well, it will be a straight edge. Uh, it's just that stitch is uh, thrown off at the minute until we get this round done. So what we're going to do is I'm moving on to my other colour. And we're just going to be doing the exact same. I know it's a lot of the same for this part of the tutorial. But I wanted to do a nice big square for the middle. And then in the later videos we're going to be moving on to different types of stitches. And yeah, it's going to be great fun. So I'm just connecting my yarn like always. And... I'm just going to carry on. So from uh, from now on, rather than doing two rows of colour, we're just going to do one. So we're going. I'm going to do one blue, one yellow, one blue, one yellow. Uh, you know, since we're quite easy rounds, it means you can hide all your tails in as you go, which is uh, lovely. So chain two, put them in the corner, and another two. I'll just carry on working down here. And again, I'm just going to turn my work. I'm just going to jump down here, and what I'll do is I'm I'm going to continue a little bit, and then I'll just meet you back here. So bear with me. Right, so it's still in round 16. I just wanted to uh, go over this uh, little joining area with you, just just because. Right, so you, you can see it, it, we do have a bit of a bigger gap here, but that's going to be fine. That's going to even itself out. So make sure you're going, going into that stitch in the middle and you can just fly straight over this. As easy as that. And after a couple of rounds, uh, this will stabilise a bit more and um, you'll end up with a straighter edge. So if it looks a bit wonky at the moment, it will be fine. So I'm, I'm just going to do a few more, then I'll lay it flat and show you. We'll mention for the uh, for the next video we will be picking another two colours. See that looks really nice and uh, a really nice transition across there. Yeah. So uh, as I was saying, I am going to be using another two contrasting colours for the next part of my uh, for this crochet along. Uh, so you might want to th uh, think about colours already. Uh, so you can pick whatever colour you like, but I think I might go for something like uh, purple and neon orange. I, I have no idea yet, but I'm, I think that's what direction I want to uh, take this one in. Just bit, so then each part's like uh, quite disconnected from each other, but as a whole, it's the colour scheme will work. Right, so I'm going to leave you to work like a little slave for a while, and... I don't, I don't have an exact crew account, but what we're going to do is I will probably crop back up in, in about 30, about 30 seconds and uh, after I've done more rows and then I'll give you more instructions. So until then, carry on stitching.
Right, so, um, I've just done an extra three, uh, I've just done three rows after this uh, joining row and I'm going to finish the video uh, for this part of the crochet on here because I'm, I'm to the stage now where I'm looking at it and going, hmm, I want to change colours. So, uh, by this point, I'll show you what we have left from the uh, shape centre. First and then the other side. So th uh, this, by this point, I literally have this left from what I started. So this I'm just going to discard. So that's uh, just gone in the bin because it's uh, such a small piece. This I'm going to put in a small plastic bag because we're going to be using these little bits later on uh, as this uh, project uh, progresses. So I hope you've enjoyed part one. So uh, keep an eye out for part two. Make sure you like and subscribe to my video uh, and my channel. Um, for more updates which should be coming very soon because uh, I can work extremely fast uh, as, a lot of, as a lot of people on social media know sorry it's, I've just got a thing about flattening projects out and yeah so um, the next part will be a little bit more exciting I promise you and yes I can't wait uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram as Crochet Kyle as well because I put other content on there mainly uh, funny uh, funny pictures and yeah, so this is the end of part one. If you made it this far, well done. Uh, I can't wait to see people's finished projects. If you like to tag me any any of them, I always like to see people's work. Uh, so yeah, follow me uh, on here for part two.